Hi, I'm S. Dave. I've got a question here from Matthew T. 3969 on uh, video 1154, which is fairly recent. Okay, do you run the J pole as a mobile sort of temporary thing? Not usually. If you get a roll up J pole, it's more for a portable. You just hang it from a tree, okay? Like when you're camping or something like that. Now, a J pole that's made of copper pipe is rigid and it has usually a piece sticking down that's not actually part of the antenna. But you can use hose clamps to connect that to something. I have, from time to time, to just get a quickie J-pole in the air, just set it down inside a drain. And the piece that length, it'll only roll over about that much. But normally you would connect that to a metal mast. And then the bottom of the mast, you'd connect a wire to your ground rod. And that will take the static charge off of that. The... J-pole antenna is technically a balanced antenna, so you might want to put a choke ballon or something like that up there with it. It's a nifty antenna. It doesn't really matter what you do with that bottom part. Now, one that you unroll has got the SO239 near the bottom. There's no mounting pole at the bottom, plus it's flimsy anyway. One thing I did once, there are, if you go down to your local motorcycle retailer, you can get fiberglass flagpoles that you attach to the four-wheeler or the side-by-side -side and put a flag on the top of it so you can be seen a little bit better. I've run a J-pole up one of those things and it holds it up so you can use that even for the hanging type dipole and put the thing up. I mean, let your imagination be your guide just as long as you don't mess with the double part and the halfway dipole above that. Matthew, it's not that hard to get a couple clamps. You get clamps that will go around whatever you're hooking it to plus the J-pole width and there you are. It's one or two. I would do two clamps until we next meet. 73.